Hello YouTube and welcome to this BDLDD channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to bring your LEGO Digital Designer models into Blender uh, so you can create realistic 3D renders of your models. Alright, so to start you need a model in LEGO Digital Designer. I have this uh, Star Wars Microfighter that I'm going to use as an example but it could really be any model. I suggest a small model to start with just so that you can get the hang of it and then move to a larger model once you have the tutorial under your belt. All right, so the other piece of software you're gonna need to export a file that Blender can actually read is stud.io, which is Bricklink's LDD alternative. Uh, and I'll have a download link in the description so you can download it um, and install it. Okay, so I'm just going to switch over to stud.io. Okay, so here we have stud.io. Um, this is just like LEGO Digital Designer. Uh, it allows you to build and create your models. It actually has uh, the ability to render models as well. Uh, but for this example, I'm going to show you how to get them into Blender. Let's uh, open the file here. So you can open it straight from the LXF. And you'll see it build into the viewport here. Uh, now, with the import, you may notice... Uh, some bricks out of place. Uh, for example, the gun on the in his hand is turned. Uh, so there might be some manual fixing that you need to do. In this case, I'm going to I'm just going to grab it and rotate it. Okay. All right. And now I'm just going to select the whole thing. I don't know if that's necessary, but I'm going to select the whole thing and export as. I'm going to export as a Collada file. And I'll just save that to the desktop here. Okay, and after that's been exported, you can close stud.io. You don't have to save or anything. Obviously, you're going to have to download Blender. I have Blender 2.79b, but really the latest Blender should work just fine. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to just take everything in the scene. So you can just press A. Actually, hold on one second here. I'm just going to turn on my my screencast keys. So I'm going to press I'm going to press A to select everything and also pressing A again will deselect everything. I'm just going to press A to select everything, press X, and then confirm to delete everything. Now we have a completely blank scene. I'm going to go File, Import, Collada. And you'll have to find it where you saved it. I saved it on the desktop, and Import. Okay, now that we have the model in, I'm just going to come over here to the outliner in the corner and I'm going to shift select both of these lights and I'm going to delete them. I'm going to also select the camera node and delete it as well. So we just have the model. Now if you want to move the model around, you can simply right click on these arrows here. The blue arrow will move it in the Z direction. 
the green arrow will move it in the y direction and the red arrow will move it in the x direction. I'm just going to undo that. Now the number keys on your keyboard, uh, that's the number pad on the right hand side, that will allow you to switch your views. So if I press 1, actually, first I'm going to press 5 to switch to orthographic view and then press 1 to be in front view. I'm going to grab the blue arrow and I'm just going to pull it up until it's the bottom is lined up with the uh, with the X and Y axis. And then I'll press 3 to look at the side view and just move it so that it's roughly centered. Okay, now to to orbit around your model, uh, to kind of take a look all the way around, what you're going to do is hold down your middle mouse button and uh, move your mouse, and that orbits around. In order to pan, you're going to hold shift, shift middle mouse button. So you can orbit with middle mouse button, and shift middle mouse button lets you pan. If you want to zoom in and out, the, uh, the mouse wheel can do that. If you want to select uh, an item, that's actually a right click. So say you wanted to move this brick up, that's a right click on it to select it. Okay, and now we're going to set up a camera. So we're going to go over to the um, the panel on the left hand side here and say create. If that panel is not uh, out, you can press this little plus button or you can press T to bring it out. I'm going to create a camera and you'll see it pops into the scene down here. I'm just going to pull it up and pull it out. And then I'm going to press numpad zero to switch to the camera's view press N to open the right hand panel and I'm going to check lock camera to view. Now when I pan and zoom the camera, it, the camera, uh, when I pan and zoom my view, the camera view also moves. So I can position my model right in the middle and then uncheck this and then the camera is in place. So the next thing we need to do is we need to look at our render settings. So currently I have the render settings set to uh, 1080p and I'm going to push that up to 100% so that it's 100% of uh, 1920 by 1080. I'm going to come down here, uh, PNG is fine, I'm going to turn the compression up. I'm going to change the Oh, actually, sorry, there's something you have to do first. We have to go up here and change this from Blender Render to Cycles Render. And then under the Sampling tab here, I'm going to check Square Samples and make the samples 20 and 10 for the preview. I'm just going to check my other settings here. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the camera view by pressing numpad 0 and choosing uh, this button right here, which is your render settings. I'm going to select rendered. So now we see a preview of what our rendered image is going to look like. You can see it's pretty dark, so I'm going to turn up the lights a little bit. Uh, select the world tab right here and under the surface setting, I'm going to just bring that up closer to white. Okay. And I'm just going to switch back to solid rendering again. 
Now for this part, uh, for the rendering part, uh, I'm going to show you something that's a, a little bit more advanced. But you'll see here under the Render tab, the device used for rendering is CPU. That's uh, By default, it would be CPU. But ideally, if you have a good graphics card, an NVIDIA, or even some AMD graphics cards, you want to switch that to GPU compute. You'll notice it's grayed out. That's because I have to select it in the settings. So you have to go to File, User Preferences, System, and right down here where it says Cycles Compute Device, you want to select CUDA and then your graphics card. And then Save User Settings and Close. And now you see the GPU compute is no longer grayed out. And now if you scroll down to the performance area, uh, in order to make it work better with GPU compute, uh, you want to turn it up to about 512 by 512 for the tile size. If you're using CPU, and it's fine to use CPU, just keep it at uh, the 64 by 64, that's fine. Okay, and now that we have th all those settings set, uh, let's just press the render button and see what we get. Okay, there we go. And if you wanted to save this uh, image, you would just go down to Image, Save as Image, and save it to your file system. And that about does it for this tutorial. Um, so we learned how to bring everything into Blender and how to create a basic flat render. You'll notice that this doesn't look great. Uh, it's pretty flat, pretty simple. None of the bricks have any shine, the colors aren't really right, but that's what we're going to tackle in the next tutorial, is how to put proper materials onto the bricks and um, and shadow and put a, a floor underneath it and just make it look almost like a photo. So until next time, I'll see you later.